Today, we're gonna deep dive into Cornucopias and tell you everything that you need to know about this impressive project. Starting off as a gaming metaverse built on Cardano, it has since evolved to a massive open world gaming platform and metaverse and is now available cross-chain. The team of 39 have seriously upped their game since the first time we chatted a few years ago. And I wanted to take time to fill you in on all the stuff that they're doing to go mainstream. First up, what is Cornucopias? Cornucopias is a cutting edge MMO with incredible AAA graphics with real world earth mechanics and floating cities in the sky. Each one has its own unique futuristic environment and community. It's here players take control of their own unique customizable avatar, which gives them the freedom to choose their destiny. Explore landscapes and settlements while you engage in activities such as crafting, commerce, combat, racing, and more. This game is so impressive and it's already in pre-alpha testing and the graphics look absolutely incredible. If you're a gamer who loves MMOs like World of Warcraft, then this might be the type of game that you love. But this time, it's in a realistic open world. If you're more of an investor though, this game has massive potential for your portfolio. Currently, Cornucopias is sitting at around a $70 million market cap. And if compared to something like World of Warcraft in the multi-billions, you can see the opportunity that it presents you. But not only that, Cornucopias also has node opportunities as well. And if we've seen things like Myria and Gala Games and how well nodes have done in gaming, this could be a really good opportunity for you. The game itself has been built on incredible storytelling and in-game lore. They even have an entire Cornucopias wiki for you to check out. The game is also growing quite quickly on X and on Discord with almost 100,000 members on the two of them combined. What was really cool is the team has a reward system that gives back to the community. By participating on Discord and with their socials, you can earn corn points, which can give you status towards first access to NFTs, other community benefits, and maybe even some type of airdrop one day. So unlike most crypto games and PC games alike, you cannot usually use a controller, it's just keyboard and mouse. But what Cornucopia started from the beginning doing is integrating an actual controller so you can play games like you would on PlayStation or Xbox. So the question now is, what is the best way to get involved? So first, like I said, head on over to Discord. That's where you'll find the information first to be able to participate in the pre-alpha game. I'm already hearing the racing games and open world exploration are really fun and interactive. Plus for crafting lovers, actually having to find unique ore and other elements in mines has been really well delivered. Also, be sure to check out the Kopi Wiki so you can get ahead on the lore. You guys all know me, I love charts and doing TA, so let's look at the token and see how it's doing after this massive dump that we've just experienced. So as you know, we've had a big crash in the market recently, can be seen on all the charts. Looking at this one though, we actually are still in quite a good position because we kind of tinkered below the Kijin and now we're kind of coming above it. So this could be like a little bit more of a Kijin bounce type trade setting up. Our Chiku's still bullish, we're Tenkin's hooking up still. So everything looks pretty good. And you know, this is one of those projects that has a really high growth potential. So looking at the chart, we can see that it doesn't look good on the daily right now, but if we move further out or we go closer in, it will also look still okay on the 12 hour. On the eight hour, it's kind of come down. We see some potential bearishness here, but remember they're trying to fake everybody out. On the three day, it really doesn't look terrible, but we do have that three inside down potential off of a resistance. Well, that could be something that we have to keep our eyes on. But again, Kopi, if you're looking to buy in and you're not in yet, look at this perfect level that it basically came down to, right? We have this beautiful level, which has been resistance, support, support, support again, and now it's acting as support. Uh, so we could see this definitely bounce in this level right here on eight cents. And if it goes a little bit lower, we'll give you a second buy entry because it's always good to have two areas, not to put all your chips into single back. Basket. So we have to look for another level of actual support. That might be down at seven cents. That would be okay. That'd be a great area of support. You can see it's bounced off that many times here and here on this huge wick, which was actually some advisor's wallet getting hacked. Definitely didn't stop it from going back up though. So that's always a positive. And it's held it over here. So worst case, if you came in here and you came in at seven cents, it's not a huge difference in price. That's something that I'd be looking at if it was me. So that looks like the upside of Kopi. Just did a trend-based FIB extension to the low, to the high, and back down to the low. It gives us our, our 1618, our 2618, our 3618, 4618. So 6618 showing around 42 cents. That would be about a 6X or so from where it is right now. That's a really good opportunity 
and you know that might not be the end of it right if we see games like star atlas go absolutely ballistic without a game this is a game that already you can see there's trailers of people playing i've been shown everything from the team things are getting right up for actual launch of the game itself not just the pre-alpha and i think that looking at that aspect gives you a lot of understanding of what's to come i think this is one of those games that people are going to start playing and go this is not crypto this is a game and that's what's going to send it 